human body systems. Today, we're going to talk about the different human body systems. So our objectives today describe how the human body is organized and explain homeostasis. How is the body organized? All right, so first we have cells. So every cell in the body is both an independent unit and an interdependent unit. The levels of organization in a multicellular organism include cells to tissues, so cells make up tissues, tissues make up organs, and organs make up organ systems. All right, so just a brief recap about cells. First, the cell is the basic unit of structure and function in living things. It's, uh, we have specialized cells that perform a particular function. Tissues are a group of cells that perform a single function. There are four basic types of tissues in the human body. We have the epithelial tissues, which include glands and tissues that cover body surfaces. We also have connective tissue, which provide support for the body and connect its parts. We have nervous tissue, which transmits nerve impulses. And we have muscle tissue, along with bones, enables the body to move. All right, now we have organs. So uh, an organ is a group of different types of tissues that work together to perform a single function. So for example, the eye is an organ and it has epithelial tissue, nervous tissue, muscle tissue, and connective tissue. Now organ systems are a group of organs that perform a closely related function, such as your digestive system to digest your food. For example, the brain is part of the nervous system. There are 11 different organ systems in the human body. Some people, some say 12, it just depends on what, who you're talking to, but we're gonna talk about the 11 of them that help us maintain homeostasis or where we're supposed to be. First, we're gonna talk about the nervous system. That includes your brain, spinal cord, and your peripheral nerves. The, the nervous system coordinates the body. You have your integumerary system, which is your skin, hair, nails, sweat, and oil glands. Provides protection and helps to regulate the body's temperature. The skeletal system includes your bones, cartilage, ligaments, and tendons supports and protects the body, stores mineral blood cell formation. We have your muscular system, which includes your skeletal muscle, smooth muscle, cardiac muscle. Voluntary movement helps circulate blood and aids in digestion. You have your circulatory system, which includes your heart, blood vessels, and your blood brings oxygen, nutrients, and hormones to the cells, fights infection, removes cell waste, helps regulate the body's temperature. You also have your respiratory system, which includes your nose, your pharynx, larynx, trachea, bronchi, bronchioles, and lungs, provides oxygen and removes CO2 from the body, and then you have your digestive system, which includes your mouth, also the pharynx, the esophagus, stomach, small and large intestine. Breaks down your food, absorbs, um, breaks down and absorbs food, eliminates waste. All right, we have your excretory system, which includes your skin, lungs, kidneys, um, ureters, urinary bladder, and urethra. urethra. Eliminates waste products from the body. You have your endocrine system, which is your hypothalamus, your pituitary, your thyroid, parathyroids, adrenals, pancreas, ovaries, testes uh, for female and males. Controls growth and development. Uh, your metabolism, so you can see those are 
hormone um, hormone hormone organs. You have your re reproductive system, which includes the um, testes. Uh, you also have the ovaries, the penis for um, females and males. Uh, provide provides reproductive cells. And then you have your lymphatic, also known as your immune system, which includes your white blood cells, your thymus, spleen, lymph nodes, lymph vessels. Helps protect the body from disease, collects lost fluids, and returns the fluids to the circulatory system. All right, maintaining homeostasis. Homeostasis is the maintaining of internal balance. Homeostasis requires the integration of all organ systems at the same time. Feedback inhibition, which is negative feedback, is a process where a stimulus produces a response that opposes the original stimulus. If our body temperature gets too low, part of the brain signals the body to produce more heat. So it's self-regulating. Okay, and that is it.